teenagers on mopeds at 6am. <laughs> no, it's not. A street sweeper? Oh, either way. Oh. Right, did my laptop charge up and did it completely drain the starter battery because I had the keys in last night. Still on 12.1. Hey, it's all right. I mean, I guess the laptop battery has about, what, 1 20th capacity of the starter battery, so that makes sense. But not in terms of amp hours in terms of watt hours you have to multiply by the voltage respectively yeah that was a good overnight stealth park in tesco's dalgeith bay just uh north of the fourth bridge let's complete the morning procedure charge up my power pack from the solar power pack is not doing well solar's at 12.8 volts the day's only just begun and desk and biscuits <laughs> and cheese you know what time it is good I pushed up the video that I couldn't last night. Campervan John gets the first comment. Not that we're doing that sort of thing anymore. All right, shut down because I'm on uh, a kind of battery level that would have stumped my previous starter motor. Well, let's see if we can start today on 11 and a half volts. I really don't seem at all concern <laughs> concerned about this, do I? Uh, and why should I? Thank you, Kev. That's a fantastic part you put in there. <laughs> what a beautiful, crisp mid-October morning. So this is a mobile testing unit in Dunfermline and when I took my camera out because there were three soldiers there involved with it they just all jumped all piled into a car and scuttled off you know like like they've been trained to it's really weird this is a covid test site yeah what why are soldiers involved in covid testing just because we're understaffed now you're understaffed what yeah, because, because you because people went back to work because everything's opening up again you know? Are you still using PCR tests? Yeah, yeah. I, haven't the government outlawed them? They're going to abolish them quite soon. No. Nope. Really? Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, and then when I turned the camera off, the Karen in a mask said, you're not allowed to film me because of GDPR. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, you're, you're in a public space. I mean, look, they're using a public car park to do this with soldiers and now the testing van scuttles off because I didn't go when they told me to wow right where was I <laughs> oh yes I was gonna the very mundane task compared to that of picking up the laundry and if you're out there and you see this going on, get in their faces and ask them questions and record what's going on. Because this is a crime scene, all of it. Okay, England, and I dare say even Wales, how much for all that? You know, 
about, what, about five kilos of clothes, judging by how much I'm holding at arm's length. No, you're wrong. Tenner. Ten pounds in Scotland for a service wash. But they did use my soap. And uh, someone else wrote in. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm back to looking for comments again. Up, up there. <laughs> to say don't get confused between that and my wee wee bottle well that's very kind of you to care okay so I've been in Dunfermline more than a day now time to have a look at without meeting anyone no no one's written back to me to meet me no one wants to meet me Pfft. yeah I'm going to look at Sterling Falkirk and Perth, maybe Edinburgh. A quarter of a mile at the roundabout, take the second exit and stay on A985. Fascinating. It almost feels like cheating using the services, but here we are. Never seen anyone run all emergency spare tires like that guy in the Suzuki. What is that? Now, it looks like a 1988 Bedford Rascal, but it's got that. Oh, it's got a Rover. Rover hubcaps. It's some kind of Chinese mockery of a Suzuki supercarry. <laughs> oh, another ridiculously lovely day for Friday the 15th of October. And uh, remember I said the other day that I learned my lesson from fasting. <laughs> and the reason why my white trousers went in the laundry well shortly before I pulled into here I just had a little wee in a country lane just to take the edge on it off it because I was approaching like 100% busting yeah I'd give that five minutes if I were you check this out M92 services outside Falkirk I've got a, a, a microwave A microwaved chicken tikka masala from a motorway services. Oh. <laughs> you just can't buy class like that. Right, I'm going to eat this while watching my favourite paranoid conspiracy theory channel on BitChute. Yeah, just watched Mark Dice. Now, um, I'll watch another one. Hmm. And sorry I just missed Uptown Disco too, <laughs> because he was in Burntis Land and uh, yeah, he just wrote back to me just after I'd left Dunfermline. I'm oh yes, what a beauty! What the bloody hell is that?